Hello and welcome to the video. Before we get started, if you'd like to provide input on future content and get our weekly newsletter, click on our survey. Uh, the link will be below. We also have uh, a report on Ethereum 2, along with a bonus report on why you should learn Solidity now. Again, the link will be below. Now on to the video and thank you. Okay, so <laughs> I was starting to tape this, um, tape my thing, and my computer decided to crash um, in the middle of taping. Uh, what I wanted to do was build the, um, the Solana C uh, CLI from scratch. So we're still going to do that once I get the computer up or... If I can, I'll switch to another computer and get that set up. But I figured that would give us a chance to go over the Solana, um, their GitHub, their GitHub page, and look at the the instructions and how you would build that. So it has looks like it has three projects, or it's at least three or three repositories, at least three pin ones. And then uh, I guess these are the others. So it has a lot more than that. But the three pin ones are Solana, the program library, and the DAP uh, scaffold. But we're going to look at the Solana library. And as you can see, there's a whole bunch of stuff in here. Um, let me move it so I can see it a little better. A whole bunch of stuff. So you got um, all these different modules. Uh, of course, this is this is um, uh, Rust. So you'll see cargo and all the cargo stuff and different um, readmes and so on. The .mds and uh, so this is this is uh, what it. This is one of them. This is the tokens. So let's see what we got there. Um, so we got main, a lib. Uh, let's see. So here's an example. So this is the transaction. It looks like transaction info and things of that nature. The database. It says OpenDB. Um, there's a path. And a result. So it looks like pickled DB. I have to learn more about that. But so this is what the code looks like. Um, but what we're interested in, or what we're going to be doing in the next day or so, is building it from scratch. And I'm hoping that doing it that way will allow the test uh, item that's. The um, test uh, node or not node validator to work because it would we have some incompatib incompatibilities. Uh, they talked a lot about TensorFlow. TensorFlow is a library to do uh, complex mathematical uh, calculations, and of course we're dealing with a blockchain with a very sophisticated consensus algorithm and so on. So um, it's not surprising they use this kind of a library. So when we do it, um, the first thing you have to make sure your Rust is up to date and Rust FMT is up to date. Uh, and um, you update it. And this is where it crashed when I was getting all these other libraries that it's going to use. And uh, if you're using a Mac M1, then they have this little command here. You, of course, do a typical git, which we've done dozens of times, the git clone, and then you simply build it. And that's where you kind of hold your breath and hope that it actually decides it to build for you. We, again, run into many times when we've tried to build something from the instructions, and for whatever reason, it was not happy. And then you can also test it. They have a, um, I guess, um, 
I guess you can use the nightly build of Rust. And Rust up is your updating thing for Rust. And do some benchmarking and hug coverage and all this kind of stuff. So that is what we are going to be doing when um, I get my machine back cooperating or get another machine to, to decide to cooperate. Um, and uh, one thing we are also, I did have a request uh, for um, DF. So we, we are going to take a look at that at some point. Um, I think it's going to be after we do go through a basic uh, a basic Solana program. And uh, that's pretty much it for tonight. I'm going to check up on that machine and see if it's decided it wants to uh, cooperate a little bit more. And uh, then hopefully, hopefully tomorrow night we'll be able to actually uh, delve in and actually build this puppy. And uh, hopefully it's not one of those builds that takes insane amount of time. Let me show you something else. I just want to look at this again. Um, notice this is under very active development in the way. No is pretty obvious. Um, should be obvious. This is the last commit. Um, this is the master branch. And they have all the other branches. If you work in a professional environment, generally what happens is you have the whatever it is you're working on. So you may have a, you know, they, they, you know, a ticket to add a method to a particular uh, class, let's say. And you would generally branch off. There's usually some kind of de development branch. Generally branch off of that and then make your, your enhancement for your ticket. Uh, usually, uh, at least uh, places I've worked, they've had some kind of code review that's built in, which basically you have to, what they call, do a, a poll on, your, on what you check in, do it, and um, that would, that, and you assign people in your team to look and, and make any suggested changes or if they catch any errors. And uh, that's how you catch things early. Um, sometimes your your teammate will look at it and and say, "Hmm, you know, if you know, maybe it'd be better if we did it this way." And you, that gives you the opportunity to to improve things early on. Because remember, one thing to be aware of if when you're coding, the sooner you find a problem and fix it the less problems you have, the easier it is to fix. And um, the other thing I um, <laughs> is I don't, I'm not never 100% comfortable with something I wrote until, well, I guess you're never 100% comfortable because, but I'm not sufficiently comfortable until uh, someone else has, has also tested it. Uh, I had a funny story I was working on something, and this goes back 10 years, and at least 10 years, and I'm working on this thing, and I'm thinking it works. So I, one of the uh, my teammates went to check it, and she said, oh, it's not working. You ran into this problem. And I said, well, and I tried it, no problem. She did. She said, no, we're having this problem. So finally, and I, I don't know if I told this story before. I had her sit at my desk and actually do the same test. And what it turned out is she was a, she was doing things a little bit different than I was. And the way she was doing it was causing the problem. So just be aware of that sort of thing. Um, but anyway, uh, there's a lot for us to continue on with Solana. And, um, <laughs> and uh, before you know it, Radix um, Scripto will be out and we'll be able to have a look at that as well. So hopefully, uh, despite the fact the demo is a little delayed, uh, you've gotten something out of this. 
And um, thank you for watching. And I will speak to you next time.